I'll tell you how university degrees have become inflated. In the same way the word model has become inflated, I am 36 years old. And I remember a time there was two or three girls in my hometown who I knew were models. You'd find them on pictures of shampoo bottles and on TV commercials. And you'd be like, this girl from my town is a model. With the advent of Instagram, which is essentially a university that prints out model degrees, what's happened is the word model is meaningless now. Oh, I'm a model. I'm a model. Wait, you make a very decent living and make a great income doing professional modeling. Well, no, but I have this Instagram profile and I get booked for various jobs and photo shoots and all these people want to. There's no such thing as a model in, in the traditional sense anymore. They're much harder to find because every girl who says she's a model, you're not impressed by it anymore. You have to actually look into their life. Does she have a great agency? Is she, she, is she at London Fashion Week? That's my test. Has she been to London, Milan or Paris Fashion Week? If not, you are not, in fact, a model. So I'm a doctor. Wow, great. It's the 1940s and you're a doctor. You must be great. You must know medicine. You must be adept with the highest levels of medical science. Oh, no, I'm a doctor. Why are you a doctor? Oh, you have a PhD in gender studies because you invented something new about men being women and women being men. And you've technically, I guess, grown the field of expertise, which is what it takes to get a PhD. So you're a doctor too. The man who thinks men are women and women are men is now also a doctor technically because a piece of paper says he is, it's a scam.